Luke, a massive three points up here at the Shea, a 2 0 victory against League Leaders Halifax. Yeah, big result considering the week we've had. I have to say, um, to have Barrow on a Tuesday evening, travelling all the way up north and getting back at 4 30 am on the Wednesday morning, to then travel back up here today to face the League Leaders, I think that's a colossal win. Um, I felt we organised ourselves well, they had a little spell in the first half for 10 15 minutes, and we managed it and we had moments ourselves, we didn't take the opportunities but for me to come away from home to win 2-0 keep a clean sheet against the league leaders who has got the meanest defence um, in the National League yeah I'm, I'm over the moon and obviously all goals are important but the timing of our two goals today were important in the context of the game yeah we worked on it I'm going to take full credit honestly I said to him yesterday they're going to score from a corner we've done two trigger runs and champ second six yard box goes and heads it in the top corner so they took information on board superbly. Like you said, the manner in which we scored it on the 43rd minute, 44th minute, um, was massive. The, the goals change games. They come out second half, the drum gets going, they're playing into their fans and it changes the mindset of our players. Obviously, we've had a, a long journey um, and it takes it out of your legs. But when you've got a goal to hold on to, there's a whole different mindset. So, for me... Yeah, the manner in which we've won today, very pleased. They're a good side. He's got them playing some good football. They've got threats across the park. And, yeah, I'm buzzing that we've managed to come away with a win. And the second goal from Adam McDonnell. I mean, we were all sitting up in the stands expecting Kieran Murder to take, to take that. But when McDonnell struck it and went back of the net, um, it must have been happy. He had a, a sight of the first one, didn't he? I think that side. had a sight of that side, and he's gone and scored the goal. Um, he's got good delivery. When he's on his job, he has good delivery. You see that in the corner. You see that again on Barrow on Tuesday evening. He put the ball on the money for Tyrone Marshall's head, head in from there. Um, and he's gone and wrong-footed the goalkeeper because obviously he's assuming Kieran Murray is going to lend it around the wall where he wasn't standing. And obviously the goal he's gone to his left-hand shoulder and Adams opened up the goal. So I'm just, but I've got to be honest, I'm just over the moon that I don't care who scores. I really don't care as long as we win games of football. And uh, obviously, as you just previously mentioned, it's been a tough week, a long trip up, trip up to Barrow followed by a long trip here and I'm assuming you'd have probably taken three points out of six. I would have taken two draws. I said to the group in there, would you have taken nil-nil at Barrow and nil-nil at Halifax? They said all day long, so we've gained a point. Um, the fact of the matter is, it would have been you would have been unbeaten, it would have been all that hype, but we're a point better off than where I wanted to be. So, to win one of them two games on the road for a team that's sitting in the playoffs being Barrow and a team that's sitting top of the National League in Halifax, for us to go and win, win one game out of two, I'm very pleased. Obviously, it backs up the Solio result, it backs up the Woking result, and yeah, at the minute we're, we're okay, we're doing okay. And the beautiful thing is, I played about Mark Ricketts, my club captain, Dave Stevens, um, and Kane Smith. And we've managed to have wheeled out that squad with our disposal. So, it speaks volumes about where we're at as a football club in terms of our squad at the minute. Woody's got a little injury, um, whether he'll be fit or not against Torquay will be an issue, but. Suspensions and injuries are going to cost us problems. We need to make sure that we're consistent, that we don't get any more suspensions and we work heavily on trying to sustain the bodies on the park as opposed to in the physio. You just mentioned it, but uh, with uh, Kane Smith coming back, Mark Ricketts and Dave Stevens, we certainly are going to have six issues ahead of the, the FA Cup game at Torquay. Yeah, which you, as a manager, it's a nice luxury to have, to, fa to face the fact that we've got Mark Ricketts, Kane Smith and Dave Stevens coming back into the fold, leading up to a free week next week, gearing up to Torquay. It helps and aids your group. Um, some tired legs there. Some tired legs there. You look at that. The last 15 minutes we're holding on. They get a goal. They don't hit the post and get a goal. They get something from the game of football. 100%. So we rode our luck. But we earned that. We earned that with the two journeys we've had. And we're a fit team. We're a very fit team. We've called upon the same bodies probably too often because of the suspensions and the injuries. But... Like you said, we've got the luxury of having them free back. As long as we don't get no injuries next week, we go with a full quota going to Torquay. And it's a break from the league action now. It is a long trip down to Torquay uh, for the FA Cup. We lost down there in the league game in the season, so you know, the boys want to put the wrongs right. 100%. Obviously, we, we went there. I felt we were quite even in terms of where we was at as 11 v 11. They then go and get the advantage where Jamal Fifield leaves the pitch. And in fairness to him, makes two great subs. They make the pitch massive and expansive and they isolate us and they cause us problems. Scored two goals in three minutes and for me, we need to make sure that we're going there and focus on what we're doing. We want a cup run. It's good that someone's going to have a cup run this year from the National League, from the lower leagues and why can't it be us? And after the FA Cup, we've got two home league games coming up against Fylde and Aldershot. It's a great chance for us now to really push ourselves up the table. I know what our results are in the top seven. 
we need to improve what we're getting from the lower league, lower people in the league. And that's saying that I need to still in the group that they've got to be consistent. If we're consistent, we're a good team, we'll, we'll compete into the top half of the table. Two tough games, filed, all the shot. Two good teams, two very good teams, two good managers. So, for me, we need to make sure that we're consistent. The focus is talky. Um, the FA Cup, I want to I want to go there, make sure we're ready, make sure we're right, and, and like you said, put some rules around. Well, I'll stay there. Thank you, Grant. <laughs>